So there's a story that is coming out after the uh, Cardinals had a chance to beat the Buffalo Bills. Kyler Murray missed a wide open Marvin Harrison Jr. the third. Great game, competitive game, had a kickoff return for a touchdown. And uh, here is the question posed to Kyler Murray, the Cardinals quarterback. What were they doing to take away Marvin? Um, honestly, man, uh, I, I wouldn't say they were just taking him away. I think, you know, I'm just, as a quarterback, obviously, you're going through your read. Sometimes the ball goes to him, but that's not, you know, it's not my job. Obviously, I, you know, I have a, I have a sense and a feel for guys when they don't get the ball and when they're, you know, when they are getting the ball. But, um, you know, I, I, put, I leave that up to Drew. You know, Drew always, you know, he, he tells me, don't worry about that type of stuff. Uh, just keep playing your game and, you know, get the ball to where the ball's supposed to go. All right, you have a guy that you spent a top five draft pick on, widely considered to be one of the great wide receivers to come out of college in a long, long time. You target him only three times. Now, the quote that's coming out of Kyler Murray saying it's not my job, I, I, I think if you gave him a mulligan, he might have a better way of softening that. We have to come up with a better game plan, something that's, that's your go-to guy. That's your number one weapon. And you're only going to target him three times? I find that pretty surprising. Now, I'm going to look at what the Bears did with Roma Dunze. He was targeted four times. Malik uh, Neighbors was targeted seven times by the Giants. So these are the other wide receivers taken in the top ten. I'm, I don't want Kyler Murray acting like, hey, don't blame me. No, I am blaming you. And really, this, this kind of started when he missed the game-winning touchdown pass. If he you know, finds Marvin Harrison, they win. And then people are saying, how do you miss him? It, like, you should always go to the line of scrimmage going, I'm going to know where he is. And even if they double cover him. I mean, great receivers get a lot of attention. You'll have somebody on you. Maybe they rotate the defense you know, to your side of the ball or where that receiver is going to be. I mean, everybody knows Travis Kelsey's getting the ball in the Super Bowl, and he somehow got the ball in the Super Bowl. Great players, great moments, but you have to have a quarterback who doesn't give up on them just because, hey, they got double coverage. He's still my best guy. I still got to go in his direction. I might get pass interference calls. Now, maybe you used him as a decoy. Who do the Cardinals play this weekend? Because I'm going to guess whoever the Cardinals are playing, I would double cover Marvin Harrison Jr. the third because in the first quarter, he's probably going to get six or seven targets. Yes, uh, Marvin? The Rams play at the Cardinals. Okay. I, if, if I'm Sean McVay, I'm like, hey, guys, we're going to make sure that we double cover Marvin Harrison because now they're going to try to force it to him a little bit more. But if I have a weapon there, I got to – I have to find ways to get the ball in his hands. Yes, is it on the offensive coordinator? Absolutely. But the quarterback has the ball in his hands. You're on the field making decisions. I don't need to hear, hey, basically it's not my fault. It's his fault. Yes, Marvin. And if you're the starting quarterback, can't you go to the offensive coordinator and say, hey, we need to go to Marvin a little bit more than we normally, you know, than we have been during the game? Yeah, Seton. Yeah, I think it – Unless I'm mishearing him, too. In the beginning of that soundbite, Kyler Murray says, well, I wouldn't say they took him away. Like, they didn't take him out of the game. Referring to Marvin Harrison, like, that was sort of his out. Like, well, they had him doubled most of the day or something like that. They they would have given him an out, but he's like, well, I wouldn't say that they took him out of the game. Well, Okay, so he was still available or yeah. open and you just chose not to? Or what? I, was it him not getting open then? It was on him? Yeah, it's not a good look. And Kyler Murray, you know, needs a good look. He needs something that all of a sudden we remember just how dynamic he can be. You got Marvin Harrison. You got to know where he is. Game on the line. Who am I going to go to? Larry Fitzgerald's not out there anymore. You got to find him. And even if you force the ball, how many times do you hear a quarterback saying, hey, I just threw it. I knew he'd make a play. I'm going to rely on him to make a play. Yes, Marvin. If you're Kyler Murray, you don't have a say in who gets the ball or not? You have the final say. Right. It's not my job. Yeah. And he's been in the league for a couple of years. It's not one of those where you got to acquiesce to the coaching staff and say, all right, I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. 
You got to find your guy. That's why you got him. You got a difference maker, a game changer, and then you're going to go opposite him or you're going to forget about him on a play that will win the game for you. I just, I find that surprising here. Maybe I shouldn't, but I do. Yes, Pauline. After hearing the quote in context, I'm actually a little more bothered by it than I was initially. There's phrases like, it's not my job. Well, if I you're a quarterback, like that, you remove know. that from your vocabulary. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, the media will seize that. And mm-hmm. go ask blank. Go ask Drew, the offense coordinator. Take that away from your vocabulary. That's a rookie mistake in a post-game press conference. Yeah. Yeah. you got to take ownership here. And your track record's not very good. you got to not only take ownership, overtake ownership of this. You, you have to be all in to say, you know what? It's on me. I got to get him the ball. We have to get him the ball. We have to come up with plays. He's a dynamic player. Don't say it's not on me. Don't don't blame me. That's true. Yeah. Uh-huh. Go ask the offensive coordinator. <laughs> Imagine the media <laughs> scurrying to ask the offensive coordinator. Kyler said to ask you, and you're like, uh, well, yeah, let me let me fall on the sword here. Uh, <laughs> offense coordinator is like, I'm not supposed to do interviews. That's yeah. I'm not the head coach. This is only week one. And now that dude's like, oh, you know, certainly could have done a better job calling plays yes. to put our yes. players in the best position yes. possible. But yeah. uh, I'll talk to Kyler about it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we'll come up with a different game plan for the Rams. <laughs> yes, Mark. And he's the franchise quarterback. It's not like he's Justin Fields trying to play for. Like, you know what? If I play well, no, you've already got the big contract. No one can tell you. Come on. He's not Gardner Minshew. Right. Like, you're Kyler Murray. All right? You're a number one overall pick. You've got a great wide receiver. Find a way to get him the ball. But let's say you don't find him for a majority of the game. With the game on the line? Like, I... I, I'm I'm at a loss for words that I wouldn't know where Marvin Harrison was. Because that'd be like, we get in the huddle, and I'd be like, all right, hey... Marvin, I'm looking for you. You might have to make a play. All right, break. Like, that's what I would expect in the huddle. It's not, hey, here's the play. If it breaks down, uh, you know, do this. I'm looking for you here. All right, we'll get to uh, more phone calls, 877-3DP-SHOW. Look, it turns out Marvin actually just isn't that good and I'm covering for him. (laughs) So, okay, fine. You want me to be honest? Okay, yes, the guy sucks, okay? He wasn't any good. Uh, he never got open, even though he was... Yeah. I wanted to uh, draft Malik Neighbors. I mean, it was a waste of a pick, really. Yeah. Ask Marvin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why wasn't Marvin open? Apparently, the apple does fall far from the tree, because this, he's just not, not like any his good. Dad. He's just not any good. Not like Sorry. his dad.